Hi guys and welcome to a let's play of Reset Here and Item Shop's Tale. This is a blind playthrough of a game which I recently just picked up on Steam. Uh, released in 27 to 2010 by Easy Game Station and Carpe Fulgor. Uh, so it's a Japanese game which was translated into English and released in 2010 by Carpe Fulgor. Thank you for the hard work. Uh, from what I gather, it is a game where it's set in a typical fantasy style setting where you have magic and monsters but the twist is instead of being the adventurer you are the shopkeeper selling stuff to the adventurer and trying to make a huge profit uh, it's the first time I've been to the game so let's explore the game together and hopefully this playthrough will be a nice long one and we will work through the game from start to finish and see what surprises hold us there so without further ado let's get it on oh for the love of she is still asleep tear uh, yes, we have Japanese voice acting, though, uh, since I don't really understand Japanese that much, apart from the occasional word or so, so I'll be translating it in English. Does she really not understand how important today is? Murple, can't eat another bite. Reset. Mm. Or reset, reset. But can I, oh, I can always find room for your yummy candy. Memorable. Okinasai. Wake up, please. Okinasai. <laughs> Here? Who? What? When's it? Ohayou. Oh, tear. Good. Good morning. We do not have time for good morning, Reset. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life dreaming of sweets? Today is the day we set for opening the store. Uh, we did? Oh yeah, we did. Murder of all the... Listen, go wash your face and make yourself presentable. I like how they censor it by putting it in another language. And then join me downstairs in the storefront. Okay, I'll be right down. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. Okay, Tyr, let's open the shop right now. Capitalism, ho! Patience reset. It's a virtue you will need. We need to take care of a few matters before we open officially. Huh? Like what? Well, I somehow doubt that a store without anything to sell is going to attract all that much business. Uh... Oh yeah, we don't have anything to sell. So, uh, what do we do? To start with, we need to establish a stock of items for the store. If we have nothing to sell, we cannot claim to be much of a shop. That's true. Hmm... So where should we go to get stocked up? The best way, I think, would be to visit either the town market or the merchant's guild. We need to give our regards to the head of the guild regardless, so that should probably be our first stop. Ooh, that's the place run by that old guy, right? The guild operates as a wholesaler for local merchants, so if we stop by, we can purchase an initial stock. It would be not hurt to grow uh, give a polite regard to the guild chief either. Especially since the guild is the organization that allows us to operate here in the first place. Okay, got it. Then let's go right now. When you want to leave the shop, head to the front door. Currently located in the up right, upper right hand corner of the store. Oh, but I wanted to leave through the window like an action hero. To eternity! Reset! 
Yes, I guess it was copyrighted. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, uh, let's test the controls. Let's check out stuff. Oh, so just now the girl we were talking to had... We are reset and... Tear is a sort of a fairy creature. Hmm. Anyway, let's go. Uh, so navigating the town appears to be a map selection. This action will not take any time. So great, I guess we have a time limit per day. Alright, we are on day one. Hello? Hmm, a girl and a fairy. You two are? Yes, you're Reset and that Loan Shark. Uh, Loan Shark? Well, that is not, well, an incorrect assessment. Could I ask that you refrain from calling me a Loan Shark? That's right, mister. She and I are partners. Don't be mean. Haha. <laughs> forgive me, forgive me. Partners it is. I kinda need a bit of backstory here. So, how's the preparations for running that shop coming along? Quite well, thank you. In fact, we plan on opening today, so we stopped by in order to show our gratitude for your help. Ha! Huh, very good! You two know what's what. If you have any problems, let me know. I'll be glad to help. We appreciate your kindness, thank you. Um, we appreciate your kindness. Thank you very much. Not a problem at all. So, you came he straight here to pick up some merchandise, right? Well, up to the counter then. Let's get you two sorted. This is our first time stocking up. Our funds are limited, so do not go completely overboard. I recommend purchasing no more than 10 items. K.O. Uh, okay, so we are stocking up. Uh, reset appears to be a bit of an airhead. Many, many things. Uh, let's just check every... No, should we? No. Uh, let's just head straight to buying stuff. We have swords, daggers, staves, bows, spears, gloves, clothes, robes, breastplates, armor, bracelets, shields, hats, helms, charms. Everything for an adventurer would need. Alright, uh, we should get a bit of everything, I suppose. So, 140, 280, we have a thousand bucks and need to buy 10 items. Uh, so, we should probably get cheap stuff. Uh, clothes, clothes look good. An armband looks good too, so we could be starting off as an armor store. Five and five. That's ten items. Yes, that will work. Uh, okay, so let's get five clothes. Two, three, four, five. And armband. Five of those. 125 left. Okay. Uh, what happens if we sell them then at 30? So... Already, the guild master is uh, gouging me. <laughs> uh, talk. What is the guild? Right, so a guild is essentially a group of people in the same kind of business who cooperate with one another. Since the prices on item can vary from store to store, it's hard to do business if there isn't a base price between them, right? That's what the merchant guild is for. We manage wholesaling and keep prices stable throughout the city. Well, that's kind of fair, I guess. It's a f sort of a union already. Uh, give me a moment. That's why we require that everyone who wants to do business around here register with the guild. Today's beverage is iced lemon tea. Yummy. Don't worry, your store reset here is already in the books. It ain't all just paperwork and red tape though. Now that you're a member, you can pick up stock from your shop here and you get access to a few other benefits too. We're here to help, so make f so feel free to make use of us, okay? 
Uh, what can I do here? Here at the guild, you'll always be able to get goods for a set price. Most of what we can get our hands on is practical stuff though. Weapons, armor, clothes, adventuring, necessities and the like. The town's main market who we work with is where you can get things like foodstuffs, books and other assorted knickknacks. The really flashy and rare stuff is a little bit out of our league. If you have a mind to get your mitts on those ki that kind of stuff, you'll have to go dungeon stomping yourself or buy it off a customer. Oh, we'll also buy off any excess stock you have. Mind, we buy low as a rule, so if you want to make an actual profit, you're better off selling to your customers. About merchant level, so that's levels of merchandise. Your merchant level is, well, your ability as a merchant. As it goes up, you'll figure out how to redecorate or even expand your store. Heck, you, may, you might even be able to convince me to let you have a look at some of our more uh, premium items. So how do you raise your level? Simple. Buy, sell, trade. This is art and you learn by doing. Okay, about the town. This city is getting a bit famous for the old ruins and the like that litter the surrounding countryside. So we've been seeing a steady stream of adventuring types coming in for a while now. Yes, that's where you get the dungeon exploring. Uh, they're all here to try and strike it rich off of undiscovered treasures in the wild. Hunting for fat loot, they call it. Well, I don't know what they see in chasing after oversized loots, but their presence here has also brought a lot of new merchants to the city. I sure won't complain, business has never been better. The guildmaster is gouging us all. If you're looking for one, hmm, a few might be resting in the plaza. I bet most of them will tick to the city's biggest pub though. It's never too hard to sell those wandering types a little bit of liquid pleasure. Even I go in there for a little nip every now and then. The more faithful will probably hang about the city chapel. We do get a few like that now and then on a pilgrimage or quest to find old holy relics. Uh, praise be to seekers and all that, of course. You might check the Adventurous Guild proper, too. They're in charge of making sure the exploration efforts aren't a total bedlam. They even succeed sometimes. Now keep in mind that these places are only open at certain times. For example, that pub only opens in the evening. We're pretty much open all the time though. Wait, if you're always open, how do you find time to visit that pub? For that matter, when do you go home? Little Missy, if you had the kind of wife I do, you'd be at work or in the sauce at all hours too. Murder. Forget I asked. Alright, uh, about unknown items and... Now if you go dungeon diving, you'll find a lot of stuff which you won't be able to identify at first. In particular, I'll bet my hat, you'll find a lot of what's commonly called mystery ingredients by the adventurers. At first, you'll probably be tearing your hair out over all that junk. You'll keep finding in those places, but as your merchant level goes up, you'll be able to sort out the stuff you find and pick the best materials and whatnot from the lot. Or if you manage to get out of those death traps safely, you'll have time to identify everything safely. That means you won't know what you're carrying till you leave though. So I guess there's a bit of dungeon crawling. I'm looking forward to it. About fusion. Once a few merchant levels are under your belt, you'll be able to fuse items here at the guild hall. There's quite a few items you can only get by using fusion, so I get real familiar with that furnace if I were you. Remember, what you put in affects what you get out of fusion. If you put in some materials of say, plus 2 quality, then you'll get an item of similar quality as the result. Keep an eye on what you're fusing too, you don't want to waste good materials on some mediocre thing you can just buy somewhere. Another thing to keep in mind, it can be real tempting to keep your best quality items to yourself for personal use, but your customers know quality good when they see them, and you'll earn a lot of respect if you sell top shelf merchandise. There's a couple of stages to what you can do, pull off what you can pull off with fusion. As you pick up some merchant levels, so experiment and be sure to come back here often to see what you can make. Alright, so that's all of the topics. Let's leave the sh guildmaster. Right then, will that be all? <laughs> yep, th this is perfect. We shall return when our stocks run low again. 
Haha, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yes, thank you, Guildmaster. You are gouging us. Here, a little something extra as a startup gift. Yay, walnut bread. Thanks a bunch. Uh, looks like half eaten walnut bread, but oh well. Alright, little lady, give him it all. Capitalism, ho! Well, Adam Smith will be proud of us at any rate. Uh, I guess. Okay, I'll probably Google go Adam Smith later and figure out what that was all about. But anyway, uh, returning to the shop will take one period of time. So I go out and visit, takes nothing. Coming back takes one. Interesting. Alright, let's head back to the shop. Very well, it's time to give you a crash course on the basics of running an item shop. Okay, what do I do first? First, we need to put some items on display. If we do not have our goods out for people to see, we can hardly expect the customers to buy them after all. So I just need to get near these counters. Just so, once you know where you wish to place something, choose what you wish to place in that spot by pressing the primary button. Uh, primary button? You will understand when you try it, trust me. Now remember, what you place will affect how people perceive the store. So think carefully before you place something. Right. Now then, to start off, why not line up what we've purchased on one of these counters? Okay. Alright, Tadaima is uh, something like uh, I'm home or in Japanese. Reset, may I speak with you a moment? Sure, what is it? Those counters by the window, items you place there are visible to anyone passing by on the street. As such, putting eye-catching items, the sort of things that make you think, I want to buy this more than anything, on those counters is a core principle of running a shop like this. In a very real way, those counters are the face of the shop. And what is placed there greatly affects interest in our business. So choose what to place there very, very carefully. Wow, I never thought about it like that. Well, considering we only have three items at the moment, I think placing them all on the counter is the best choice. Okay, I'll be careful. Okay, and the armband, and the bread, and let's just fill up all the slots with more stuff. Clothes, clothes, armband, 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 clothes. Alright, that should do for displaying our wares. Are you sure it doesn't look dumb? I... Do not worry, everything looks good enough for a first attempt. Now I need to teach you how, how to actually sell things. Please go sit at the counter. Righto! Is this the last slot? Uh, do I have another slot? No, I can't touch it anymore. Oh well, uh, let's see, what's this? The seat, alright. So sitting down... Hmm. Well then, the items are in place and now you need to learn how to actually sell things to people without embarrassing yourself. Okay. So, to start with, I will lecture on the actual process of selling an item we have displayed. Yes, Professor? If the students do not listen, they do not get any credit. Uh, right. Now then, when a customer enters, be sure to greet them with a nice big welcome. Um, uh, welcome? Greeting the customer helps them to feel comfortable and relaxed while in the store. Their comfort is fundamental to our business. Remember that as we continue. Now, a typical customer will find an item they want on our display and then they will come over to the counter to pay for it. Let me demonstrate. Target Longsword Base Price 1002. Could I get this please? Uh, um, uh, ah. Uh. What they want will be in the target window. You will also be able to see the name and base price. Pay close attention to that base price. Also, if you press button 3, you can view expanded information 
on the item in question. Okay, so yes, I've got it. Consult the custom .exe program included with reset it if you wish to check or alter your button configuration. Don't worry, I've set that up already. And since it's a Windows game, many many keys on the keyboard, but no problem. <laughs> Wait, button tree, custom.exe, focus reset, your life is hard enough to control as it is. I love the fact that it doesn't shy away from claiming it's a game, but it seems to have the fundamentals of um, how to run a business pretty down, if even if it's simplified. Uh, okay. Now then, next you must decide what price you wish to offer. In general, you want to try and name a price higher than the base. Try naming a price, if you will. Uh, let's see. How much should I? Uh, you likely notice that the base price serves as your default. To raise your offer, press up. Press up, okay. Uh, let's see. How about double the base price? Uh, double, okay, okay. Yes, very good. That is how you adjust your offer. As might be offered, obvious, if a customer is satisfied with your offer, it is a sale and you get a little bit of experience along with the money. If your price is too high, however, a customer can simply walk out. Of course, that's true. Uh, learning to determine the proper price, there lies the challenge. Now, if a customer di disagrees with the price, but not so much, that they want to storm out, then you can negotiate. Remember what I said about comfort earlier? That is the key here. Offer, pr offer a price, but do not make it so outrageous that a customer feels you are not acting in good faith. So, if they disagree but stay, offer a new price. Ideally, you will o lower your offer a little, and they will take it and give you a sale. Some customers may just be trying to sniff out a better price when they are really willing to pay your initial price. However, whether or not you risk testing that possibility is up to you. How long you can, can you keep haggling? Well, that depends on how regular a customer the person in question is. As we are starting out, you will not be able to haggle for very long, but after customers begin to trust us a little, you can haggle for a longer period of time. Well, time to put theory into practice. Uh, at least in this game, uh, while they don't have fixed prices, they don't seem to have tax. Which is good. Um, okay. Ah, welcome! Could I get this, please? Okay, I pick a price, right? Needs to be higher than the base price. Up button. Uh, let's try just now the 200% of base price. Okay. Oh dear, if you try to charge this much, the customer is likely to throw the item in your face and storm out. Okay, that's not too good. Uh, let's try... 150%? 1008. At this level, you will likely end up haggling a little. Alright then, now for the fine art of haggling. Theoretically, what you wish to do is to lower your price slowly. But as I mentioned, there is a limit to how long you can haggle. The idea is to de deduce a customer's de desired price and go from there. You say deduce the desired price, but how do I? It's a tongue twister. Deduce the desired price. A large number of stores sell at about 30% over base price. Okay, It is not a hard and fast rule, but people will usually accept that price level. Usually. If you can manage to go over that, you will make a lot of money, but you do not want to risk driving away a customer. Right then, so as a customer, I am haggling. Could you make it a little cheaper? Okay, gotta make it cheaper, but not too cheap. So, 30%, uh, 133, uh, okay. This is technically cheaper, but still high. It will be up to the temperament of the customer as to whether or not you make a sale. Well, that covers just about everything. Now, let us put the entire lecture into practice all at once. If you can sell me an item, you'll be ready for what lies ahead. Let us begin. Hello, welcome to Reset Tier which is, now I just realized it, a combination of reset and tier. That's cute. Target, steel sword, base price 3000. I would like this, please. Uh, so let's set it up to 150. Try again. 4005, yes, okay. 
Hmm, could you go a little lower, perhaps? Okay, so let's drop it down to 130. Okay. Hmm, could you go a little lower, perhaps? Okay, let's try 120. Okay. Yes, an excellent price. Thank you so much. Yay! I sold Steel Sword for 3620 picks. 3620 picks. Picks. Excellent. Let us do that one more time just to be sure. Hello, welcome to Reset Here. I would like this, please. Uh, so set it high. Hmm, could you go a little lower, perhaps? Yes, an excellent price. So I guess it's a random number generated based on the likelihood. And sometimes it hits and sometimes it doesn't. Oh well. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Yay, I sold Steel Sword for 3,900. Expertly done. If you ever wish to practice again, simply ask me anytime we are in the shop. And that is essentially how it goes. You are quite good for someone who has never done this before. Eh <laughs> <laughs> hey, really? We still have a little bit of time left today, so let us go ahead and open the store proper. If anyone comes in, simply handle them in the way that we've just practiced. Whoa, are you sure it'll be okay? Do not worry. As the saying goes, salesmanship is more of an art than it is a science. You learn as you go. Now then, I will open up, us up. Go on and sit at the counter. Okie day! I guess they had to find many many ways to say okay. <laughs> Welcome! If you need anything, just ask. Target, showcase item walnut bread. Base price 100. Now this will be handy. Uh, 150 first. Okay. A, little, a bit expensive, isn't it? Alright, if you think so, let's give you a 20 picks discount. Yes, that will be just fun. That will be fine. So I made 130 bucks since the bread was free. Yay, I sold walnut bread for 130 picks. So she came in to buy the bread. Wonderful. Congratulations, you did well. I sold stuff. I'm me. Reset. I sold stuff. Like to people. Hey, Tia. I. I'm so happy. I. I did it. Tia, I did it. Papa, I did it. And that's how we started running an item shop. Oh, you're wondering why we started an item shop at all? Well, to explain that, you need to understand how Tia and I first met. Mm. Yep, so... And that's the beginning part of the game. Introduction. A tale of a fairy, a girl, and how to run an item shop. As earlier, what I said, it is a fairly good primer of the basics of barter trade, I guess, if that's what you call it. Trading for fun and profit. Let's see. Yep, the calendar says it's been three months since Papa left. I do don't get why he suddenly said, I'm gonna be a hero, and then took off without saying when he'd be back. I really hope he's okay, I'm getting lonely. Well, I shouldn't worry too much about him. The best thing about him is how tough he is. He'll be okay. What? Papa wouldn't knock. Who is that? Yes, who is it? Huh? There's nobody here. Wait, what? At my feet? I guess that's how tiny Tia is. Good evening. Um... 
You are Mademoiselle Reset Lemongrass? Uh, Miss Fairy? Pardon me, but I am the one asking questions. Again, you are Reset Lemongrass? Uh, um, yes, I'm Reset. My name is Tia. I am an agent of the Term Finance Company. Finance Company? I am here to collect payment on a loan paid out to your father. Here is the contract and my identification. Uh, loan? Repayment? I, uh... In plainer terms, I am here to get our money back. If you are incapable of facilitating repayment, this house will be seized as collateral in order to repay the loan. Facilitating collateral? Seize? What? But 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 I but but I Papa Papa isn't. He is not here. Yes, I see that now. Monsieur Lemongrass disappeared following a fracas atop the local volcano, so we assumed he might have returned here. <laughs> File photo. That's funny. Even if he has not, however, the contract covers this eventuality covers this quite as the sole remaining member of his household we shall require that you pay his debts in his stead <coughs> uh, what? but that how am I supposed to I barely have enough money to live by myself naturally we are not demanding it all be repaid at once there's still a small amount of time before any payment is due therefore Am I going to get sold off in parts of distant foreign lands to repay Papa's debts? That's pretty brutally honest. <laughs> I wonder if I can survive with only two internal organs. No, you can't. Maybe if I eat a lot of spinach, that can replace my blood. And oh, but I don't want to be a sailor. What am I going to do? Ahem. Please listen to me for a moment. I have no clue where you're getting these ludicrous ideas from. But I would never do such a thing. Quite the opposite, in fact. I was sent here to ensure that you wouldn't have to resort to such. Actually, didn't she just say she was here to just collect the debt? Anyway. Well, absurd methods to pay us back. But, what? I have been sent to support you to the fullest of my ability so that you may repay the debt with via labour. What? But I've never worked a single day in my life. Experience has no bearing in this case. All that matters is whether or not you are willing to work. Oh. If you do not wish to work, then that is it. The house is turns. And I'll have to ask you to leave the premises. As the saying goes, those who do not work, do not eat. So Miss Lemongrass, which will it be? Work or the house? I'll work then. Splendid. But I don't even know what I could do. Actually, I already have an idea on that front. You are aware, of course, that this city is an adventuring hub. In addition, this house faces out onto one of the main city lanes. Therefore, I propose converting the house into an item store. Item store? What? Really? Time passes. Reset. Mademoiselle Lemongrass? I was only gone for a little while to do market research. Where could she have gone? I think running away would have been an acceptable op option too. Ha! I'm being silly. Of course she fled. Why would she not? All I did was threaten to take everything away everything she ever knew and loved. Asking her to turn the house into an item shop was foolish. Even if it was to repay the debt. The poor girl must be terribly confused. And on top of that, her father is probably... Wait, outside? Yanus, it's done. Hey, Tyr, look, it's done. What is that? It's a shop sign, of course. Doesn't it look cool? You can't be a shop without one of these, you know. Yes, well, it's quite well made. 
However, <laughs> hey hey hey, I've always been good at making stuff. Be that as it may, while the sign is nice, I... Hmm... Huh? Is there a problem? Well, the name. You are quite sure you have thought that true. Uh, reset tier, yes. Well, we are partners, right? You said so. So put reset and tier together and reset tier. Isn't it neat? Well, that's to say the sentiment is commendable, but... It's the two of us opening the store. So the name should reflect that, right? You don't like it? Really, it's not that, but... Well, that is... <laughs> that is decided. Reset here. Ho! Reset here. Means pronounce it even slightly and... Racketeer? Racket? Okay, so... I guess it's re... Reketeer? According to them? This job is going to be even more absurdly difficult than I originally suspected, I fear. Maybe translate better in Japanese. And so a fairy suddenly entered my life. One thing was for sure, this sure wasn't going to be dull. Murder. How is it possible to sleep this much every day? How? Is she sleeping again? Hmm, tear. Hmm, let's do the very best we can. Reset, wake up! Yeah? What? How? Who's on first? Oh, tear, right. Good morning. The clock does not have a good morning hand. Reset. You are the proprietor of an item shop now. You must learn to be responsible and not sleep the way the day away. <laughs> hey hey, right. Why in the name of heaven are you smiling so much? That smile you had while sleeping is just getting bigger. Oh, no reason. I just think I saw something nice in my dreams. Tia, let's give it our all. Well, if you're really dedicated to making this work, wash yourself and meet me downstairs. Hi. Uh, will do. Alright, so this is day two. Before we carry on, we shall call the video here. So if you're enjoying this game, the introduction, do like, comment and subscribe. Uh, thanks you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. This is Jean signing out.